This tutorial explains how to format the number of decimal places in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data object that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of R Studio that a new data object is appearing, which is called X. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our data object is printed with five numbers on the right side of the decimal point, even though our number contains much more numbers on the right side of the decimal point. So let's assume that we want to modify this number of decimal places in R. Then one alternative is to use the format function, as you can see in line five of the code. And within the format function, I'm specifying the round function. And within the round function, I'm rounding our data object to three values. And then I'm also specifying the n small argument to be equal to three. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our number is returned once again. However, this time you can see only three digits on the right side of the decimal point. And you can also see that this number has been converted to a character string. So in this first example, I have shown how to use the format function to modify the number of decimal places. However, alternatively to that, we can also use the sprintf function, as you can see in line seven. And within the sprintf function, we need to specify the name of our data object. And then we need to specify the FMT argument, as you can see at the end of this line. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that another output is returned. And once again, the output is 10.766. So once again, we have changed the number of decimal places to three digits on the right side of the decimal point. Once again, you can also see that the sprint f function also returns a character string instead of a numeric value. So one way to change that is to use the options function, as you can see in line nine of the code. And within the options function, you can change the global options of the current RStudio session. And in this case, I'm changing the global options to digits equal to five. So if you run this line of code, the global options of this R session are changed. And you can see that by running line 11 of the code, because if you run this line of code, you can see that the entire number is shown with only five digits. However, this time it's shown as a numeric value and not as a character string as in the previous examples. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.